Alright, what's up everyone, XP Finder here and today I'll be talking about the topic of XP in Killing Floor 2. So the title says, fastest way to level up in Killing Floor 2 and keep in mind I'm not going to be talking about glitches in no particular maps or any other kind of crutches you might think of. This is going to be legit and a lot of you already know this but this video is kind of made for newer players and also for some peeps that just want a little bit more information. So there are a bunch of things you need to know about getting XP and the most XP out of your games and I'm going to be listing them right now. Okay, so the first thing is pick a perk you want to level up. In today's video, I picked the SWAT for the example, and you'll see that I'm only using weapons that are for that specific perk. So pick a perk that you want to level up, and pick the perk's weapons. Otherwise, it won't count towards your perk leveling up. Because, for instance, if you use a SWAT and then just run, I don't know, like a flamethrower, you're not going to be leveling up the SWAT. I mean, you can use cross perk weapons, for instance, the MAC-10 with the SWATs, so you're gonna get XP for the SWAT and for the Firebug. But keep in mind, the cross perk weapon has to be under the perk weapon category. Okay, the second thing is, shoot as much Zeds as you can. You don't need to kill them to get XP. Okay, so Killing Floor 2's XP system is pretty easy to understand, so if you kill something, you get full XP. But if you shoot something and someone else gets the kill, you also get full XP. So shoot as much Zeds as you can, but keep in mind, don't go ham on larger Zeds. Because no one wants to see you raging everything just for you know XP. So use common sense on that one. Okay, the third thing is the higher the difficulty, the more XP you will gain. So lower difficulties will give you less XP. Okay, so the fourth thing is that if you prestige your perk, you'll gain plus 30% XP for every single kill on prestige 1. And once you go to prestige 2, you'll gain 5% plus to, you know, the original 30%, so you're gonna get 35% more per kill. Okay, the fifth thing is that you need to keep a lookout for Tripwires times 2 XP events. So currently, one is live for all platforms, and it will go from the 2nd of November to the 6th of November. And keep in mind, if you are playing on PlayStation and Xbox, you won't gain double XP in solo. You need to play multiplayer, whereas PC, you're going to be getting double XP both solo and multiplayer. Okay, the sixth and final thing is that Endless Mode up until Wave 10 is the best for XP. And why you might be asking, well, Zeds are easy to kill and you'll get full XP for, you know, killing them. And on top of that, you're going to be killing two bosses in the process. And keep in mind, bosses give you a lot of freaking XP. And if you're wondering why only to Wave 10 and not to like 15, 20, 25... I mean, wave 10, it's pretty much like a sweet spot for me, so you just go in, kill some things with like minimal freaking effort, as you're going to be seeing in the background gameplay shortly. But yeah, I mean, in general, just playing the game, you know, killing some things, it will give you XP regardless. Because in Killing Floor 2, yeah, it's not that hard to get XP like at all and like i said before keep a lookout for these times to be you know xp events they usually post it on their forums or their discord and i'm going to be linking their discord in the description if you guys just want to go to their server and just stay there for you know updates and shit like that but yeah this video is called fastest way to level up in killing floor 2 and like i said endless wave 10 preferably multiplayer since there are going to be like more zeds and again just for those guys who are playing on the playstation and xbox you do have to play multiplayer to get the times to XP to work. Well then that's going to be the intro and now just go and enjoy the gameplay. But yeah, just gonna be playing today my SWAT because this perk is my least leveled up. I do believe. Oh, husk. Oh, I got him though. That was kinda cool. Okay, can you stop following me dudes? No, I just want to level up on my own. But yeah, multiplayer is the best, you know, for like XP reasons because there's like more Zeds, you can just like tag or should I say assist more kills and get like XP that way. Oh, right here. On the stairs. Oh, and that's going to be a Nidar, but he's dead. Okay, Siren, why are you running away from me? Just go and die. Okay, there's only like six dudes left, and at least I got like some kills this time around. Not gonna complain about that one. Oh, that's a Skrake. Let's just go and stun him, and just like that. Okay, Skrake's getting bullied. Then he's dead, and as you can see, I didn't even kill him, and I got 186 XP. But yeah, like I said before, higher difficulties equals more XP. And here we go, wave 3 out of I don't even know how much. What the hell is- oh, that's a quarter pound. Why is he not going for me? Okay, just have to save the medic. Thank you, stun grenade, for allowing me to do that. Now I'm just gonna go and briefly headshot the dude. Ooh. Then he's dead. Okay, spider get absolutely headshotted, and stupid ass Pharaoh fidget spinners. 
Got him. Oh, he's still alive. <laughs> not anymore, he's not. Oh, he just destroyed the husk. That was kind of cool. I mean, if you're on, like, PC, you can just play this, like, in offline mode and, you know, XP is just going to be pretty freaking easy to gain. But for those of you on PlayStation and Xbox who can't get, you know, double XP in solo, yeah, multiplayer is all you have. Oh, and he didn't get headshotted. Nice. Did you see that shit? And there is going to be a random ass mummy here where the crates are at. Bash him and shoot him. Why are you here, Firebug? I don't need you. And here we go, wave 4 out of I don't even know how much. But yeah, as you can see, endless up until like wave 10. It's just going to be like piss easy, like, regarding which difficulty you're going to be playing. So, yeah, free XP, pretty much. Okay, here we have some stupid ass stalkers. I don't even care about your shenanigans. I'm just gonna kill the siren. Okay, headshot there, don't even know how, but don't write the man. Oh, Firebug, why are you here? Dude, no. Okay, can I kill him though? Oh, he just like whacked him with with the thingy. Okay, Scrake, yep, and there he goes. Hey, can you stop? How did you die? Okay, your mom died. Well then, stun grenade just like that, and let's just go and shoot some dudes. Got him. Oh, spiders. And of course, I got pushed by unknown things. Cool. Oh, God, this is just, like, bullying at this point because the Zeds... I mean, fair enough, your mom died, like, per usual, but... Yeah, the Zeds, they just can't do, like, jack shit. Oh, and here we have some bloats that apparently just puked my ass. And even though I didn't kill him, I still got the XP for him, which was kind of cool. And here we go, wave 5. Let's see which boss we're going to... Oh, the piss easy one. Here we go. Oh, and here he is, and he's whacking pretty much like air. Okay, why aren't you shooting him a little bit more, dudes? Okay, I mean, hopefully the Berserker is going to, like, EMP him. Oh, here he is. Dude, Patriarch. What are you doing? Then he's dead. And I pretty much just gained 5,000 XP for killing a boss. How that's fair, I don't know. But yeah, the Patriarch, it can either be the hardest boss or the easiest one. I mean, all depends on the team, though. Because if the team know what they're doing, yeah, they're going to be blocking him and he's not even gonna go and heal. Like, in this case. And here we go, wave 6. But yeah, man, once they're going to get, you know, these heavy hitting weapons, yeah, things are going to be a little bit more easier. I mean, both for, like, XP sake and, you know, killing sake, because this thing, yeah, it just rips everything apart. Well then, hopefully someone else is going to kill him, hopefully. Oh, he's just, like, pointing at the other dude. He doesn't want anything to do with me. I'm just gonna be killing these guys then. And I do love the SWAT, like, don't get me wrong, but... For some reason, it's just one of my most least played ones in the Prestige 2, and I just got whacked by a husk. Oh. Okay, stupid ass Cedars, go away from me, and why are there dudes behind? But yeah, overall, Killing Floor 2, it's just like a chill game, so... Yeah, you should be fine just by going in, you know, and casually playing. You're going to get XP either or. Oh, who's... <gasps> Or should I say Scrake? Okay, Scrake is getting your mom, and apparently I got him, and he near enough died again. Cool. But yeah, if you're in this for, like, pure XP, just keep on playing up until wave 10, and then just quit, find another server, and, you know, rinse and repeat. I mean, what else can I say? Oh my god, this is just going to be, like, free XP, like, overall. Bloat wave. Oh, this is going to be piss easy. I mean, shame the firebug is going to be, like, burning everything up, but, I mean, what can you do? I mean, that's just how it is. Firebugs in the house. Oh, and here he is, already spamming the flamethrower. Okay, bloats, just like that. Got him good. Oh, here we go. Free XP. I mean, you can even throw, like, grenades just to, like, tag him a little bit. So you get, like, all the juicy XP possible. Oh, this is just... Just the best. I mean, look at this. I'm just getting, like, 300 XP for pretty much nothing. 400. Okay, more blows. Let's just go decapitate him here, because that's what the SWAT is best at. Oh. I mean, this is just, like, bullying. And here we have more of them, uh, just like that. And the firebug is following me. Dude, no. Both of them are decapitated. Would you know it? Well, then, that was the bloat only wave, or should I say, free XP wave. And here we go, wave 8. Oh, please tell me it's going to be, like... Oh, it's going to be Pond Bonium, even more free XP. I mean, look at this shit. Oh, Quarter Pond. How's it going? Time to stun. And of course, the Firebug's with me. Why oh, are you here? My god. Okay, that's like a lot of Flesh Pond spawning, and to me, that just sounds like free XP coming up the stairs. Oh, someone just got destroyed. How the hell did the Berserker get killed? No. Oh, and here we have Flesh Pond. Well, then, let's just go and parry the dude just like that. Throw this shit. Why are you... No! I can't even use my SWAT abilities. AKA just 
throwing <gasps> flash grenades. Okay, got him at least. Okay, everything is raged because reasons. I mean, this is like the sad part about playing multiplayer. Everyone's just going to be like raging everything imaginable. But I mean, what can you do? Heal the dude up. Okay, I'm just gonna like parry the dudes. Can't even be bothered at this point. <gasps> well, then let's just go and shoot them. Otherwise, <gasps> my teammate is gonna die. Because I don't know why. Well, then there goes my shield. But at least I'm getting a lot of XP. And that is all that matters. Okay, Siren, don't you dare interfere. And Flash Bones. Oh, why did I just throw that? Because everything is raged. Okay, Flash Bones, let's just go and kill him. Because if we don't kill him, yeah, we're gonna get killed ourselves. Okay, go for me. Go for me. Why don't you go for me? Okay, he bashed. Now that's kinda cool. Okay, right. Tears. Kill you up. Uh, just like that. And Flash Bones. Time for you to go. And here we go, wave 9. And why is there another freaking... Oh, more bloat waves. 3 XP times 2. I just love the SWAT, man. I mean, for trash killing things, the SWAT is the best. Like, actually the best. I mean, right next to the firebug, but we all know how firebugs can get a little bit annoying at times. Okay, more bloats to kill, just like that. And this is just easier than like a walk in the park. I mean, what the hell? I mean, what are they doing? I'm getting like so much freaking XP. But yeah, I pretty much started with like a fresh 22 level and I'm pretty much a level 23 just from playing 10 waves, which is kind of fast. Well, then two dudes left and the survivalist is going ham at him and he's probably gonna kill him. Oh, your mom's playing the survivalist. Well then, and I just like stole some XP. Juicy. I mean, hopefully we're going to be getting the patriarch again because the dude is literally the easiest thing imaginable. Because for me, like I said in the previous video, I do believe it was that like medic video. I find Hans, you know, actually harder than the Patriarch. And just as I said, Hans, here he is. My god. But yeah, on wave 10, Hans is going to be pretty freaking easy, especially if we just like destroy his shield thing. But if not, then rest in pieces. But yeah, Hans, he just does like these random ass attacks and sometimes you can't even dodge him because the dude is random as hell well then shield phase number two and the dude has a lot of quarter pounds as his spawns oh this is not gonna be fun okay let's just heal this guy up just like that and grenades left and right okay what the hell is wrong with my arm Alrighty, man i just need to go and like heal myself up now because hans literally annoying as hell Okay, medic, you're gonna heal my ass. Nope, you're just gonna heal yourself. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. I just need to heal myself up, just like that. And ammunition. Please don't steal my ammunition. Dude, why? Well, then now I have to keep on running because I don't have ammo for anything. Now, please don't die with that ammo pack. Dude, come on. Nay. No. Then he's dead. Well, then let's just go and quickly get to the boss because the boss is my priority. But yeah, I just had to, like, run away from that because... I mean, if I didn't, I would probably be dead. Like, I'm not even gonna lie, just like that medic right now. But already, man. I mean, I just hate how you can't do, like, jack shit with the SWAT. Like, at all. Okay, can you die? Yeah, there we go. Good and good. Well, then, that was pretty much it. And I'm just going to show you how to be a good guy when you're going to be leaving, you know, the match. And that is throwing everything on the floor and throwing all your money on the floor also and then say gg and bye bye but yeah man that was pretty much it hope you guys enjoyed and if you did enjoy i do highly encourage you guys to you know subscribe to the channel and it pains me to say this but turn on the notification bell thing so you get notifications when i upload some stuff but yeah other than that leave a like subscribe and stay awesome as you people are see you guys next episode adios